So I have debated what to do, what to do. I don't want to get into Christmas because I started Halloween prior to Halloween and I was worn out of Halloween by the time Halloween got here. Which, by the way, is today, yesterday for you. Um, I wanted to do something fun and lighthearted. I wanted to do something different than what I've been doing lately, which is a lot of oranges and yellows and Halloween and black and purple and green and da 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 da. And I'm only going to be filming on Tuesdays and Fridays. Now, I might. I'm only going to be uploading on Tuesdays and Fridays. I might film every day, but not edit it and everything else, which sometimes you can tell I might not do a lot of editing. But anyhow, I wanted something fun, lighthearted, easy, and a go-to of mine, which my go-to is always travel. Um, and I love travel. I'm a gypsy at heart, uh, would love to be traveling 24 seven. Um, we had a hiccup in my mom and dad's house selling. It was supposed to close today. It's not closing till next week, only because the government paperwork that the borrowers have to have is slow. Thank goodness we don't have to fix anything else. More money out of our pocket, but it's just dragging it on for another week, probably. But anyhow, it's it's neither here nor there. I can't control that. So I wanted something lighthearted. Um, Calgon, take me away. If you're not from the states, it's that's a commercial of a bath, uh, bubble bath thing. You can sit in the bathtub and say, just escape in your bubble bath. Well, I escape into a journal. And my favorite kind of journals are travel journals. And I'm not going anywhere right now. <laughs> We're coming in on the holidays. I'm not going anywhere. Um, then the mail came. All of that to say, then the mail came. Now, I have talked about this before. If you watch my channel, I love a good Rolling Stone magazine. Do I know a lot about music? No. But these magazines have great ads. Um, it's a great size. It is great pictures. Uh, artists do some crazy things. And this is November's issue. It came yesterday. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing I did with this that I did with National Geographic. I'm going to go through it and use it as my prompt suggester and make a travel journal out of a junk journal, a four by eight shape, but out of a junk journal. So last night I sat here and went through and found 20, I think about 20 prompts and have a prompt every day for this book. And it's based on travel. I don't know much farther than that, but I'll let you see the prompts for today. How about that? Um, I don't have a typed out list or anything yet, but theoretically I will. So on the front cover is um, Elton John and Lana Del Rey, who I really don't know. And she's got glitter on her face. Um, but I could not find anything on here. And it's advertising the article in here that a lot of musicians did articles, did essays on other musicians and interviewed them. So it's, that's a cool idea. And she interviews him. But I'm going to, there's a thing in here called some, I, anyhow, the word ultimate came up. I'm like, okay, this is the ultimate road trip just around the United States. Yeah. Yeah. I've been watching a lot of travel videos. I love these videos of women traveling by themselves and I just started watching a lady that's been traveling in Alaska um, in an RV. I think that's amazing. So I went through and found 20 prompts. Now this is what I mean. You can take any magazine and do this. This is an ad for 
a vaping thing. Horrible, horrible, horrible. But the word unexpectedly came up. So I'm going to do an unexpected road trip. See where I'm going with this? Then, and I purposely look for pages that are hard to rep, to get a word out of. Then I love the layout of this mag, this page right here. A big picture, a little picture, a little picture, columns, organized chaos. If you have watched me before, you know I love organized chaos. So this is the layout I'm gonna use for my next prompt. I don't know what it's gonna be, but it's gonna be all laid out like this or close to it. Here is an article about, I mean, an advertisement about celebrating responsibly and it's a beer commercial. But look at the writing on the wall of this bar. You took a picture of a, a sequoia tree at Sequoia National Park in California. Hopefully it's not on fire at this point. And kind of blurred out the left side of it and then you could write about trees. That's going to be inspiring writing on a pic like this of a trip, of an event during our trip. Um, all right, here is an alcohol ad, but it says, never let you down. Traveling never lets me down. So I'm sure it's going to be something like that. Use the words, never let you down. Um, on our trip, lo and behold, we saw John McCartney or Paul McCartney. See, I don't even know. Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney. I think that would be cool just to say, oh my gosh, we were at, you know, uh, a Starbucks in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. And guess who was there? Paul McCartney. You know, it's just fantasy. It's lighthearted. It's fun. It's easy. It's an escape. Speaking of escapes, here's the next one. I purposely am trying to look for things that you don't associate with a travel journal, but make it into a travel journal prompt. Now, escape is obviously escape to the woods or escape, you know, da, 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 da. there's all kinds of travel quotes that say escape. So that's not a good example, but look at this. This is some rock guy or rapper, but in his sound studio, he had owls during the day. Oh, those are going to be seen on our trip. I'm sure those owls. Now, here's a guy that just died, and they made a tribute article to him, some drummer from England, actually, I think, and Wild Rhythms. Well, that can associate with traveling, Wild Rhythms, and then, that, then here's, anyhow, so I, I pedaled through here. Here's another layout that I liked. I love the chart effect. I love the top 10. This could be my top 10 national parks or top 10 travel spots. A graph of some kind, you know, whatever. I'm gonna use that as my prompt for a layout. Um, okay, this is about a movie or no, an album that's coming out. And I don't know who Drax project is, but I'm going to pretend like we were scuba diving or snorkeling on our trip. And then here's an advertisement for alcohol, but I love the title of the article or the ad, some gifts are meant to be shared. I love that. Uh, excuse the trumpet. Yes, he is mad. Okay, let's get through politics. All right. Now, here's another horrible ad. These people can still advertise cigarettes. I'm surprised. Um, but the ad has water. I think that's cool. We can go with a lake or something, you know, be at Lake Tahoe. And then all the articles that the musicians did on other musicians. And I was very diligently looking for quotes and things like that. But I, I, nothing popped out except this one. And this one in the article title, it says East Coast versus West Coast. Are you seeing that? I hope. Hopefully you're seeing that. I thought oh, we could do like an East Coast Park versus West Coast Parks or cities or whatever. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know what it's going to be about, but those are my prompts. Then we get into 
So you could take any kind of magazine and do this. Okay, there here we had two right here. This was somebody, David Grohl, which I'm not sure who he's with, but Ringo Starr. And um, then, of course, with Ringo Starr, one of the questions centered around the yellow submarine and the word yellow. Okay, we can work with the word yellow. And then here's an ad for more alcohol, and it's called Kentucky Whiskey. Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Bourbon Whiskey. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. But the word Kentucky. Yeah. Interesting fact. I think it was in Kentucky. The Smoky Mountains National Park. I think creeps up into Kentucky. That's the first place I went camping. And I was like a baby in the back of a station wagon. A long time ago. Okay. Here's another layout page. Here's the top 10 new albums. But I love how they do it up here. And I love the breakdown. Organized chaos. So I'm going to use that layout. A bear. Yeah. We saw a bear somewhere. I'm sure on our trip. And then here is an island, more whiskey, <laughs> an island ad. And I thought, oh, we can use like the Florida Keys or something. Or maybe like the San Juan Islands up in Washington State. I think that, oh, that's not the last one. This is the last one. Now this is uh, an ad for something that you would not equate it to in a travel journal. And I'm not even going to tell you what it is because it's, I don't want to be whatever, but love. I'm going to end my travel journal on love. And that's how you can take a magazine like Rolling Stone, who is very out there a lot of times and make it into a travel journal prompt list. So I've done this now with National Geographic and and this and it's fun it's a way to stretch your imagination it's a way to if you're compulsive and how and so although and so i went through this travel journal that i think i made with you guys or showed you it's just a bunch of beautiful pictures out of magazines or used books that i have and i wrote all the titles that i just read off to you and what page they're on so that i oh and i even i'm going to use these the subscription things that are in the magazine somehow. Um, they really do not coordinate with the pictures that are in these pages that I already pulled out, but somehow they're gonna make it. Somehow they're gonna make it. Um, I don't know how this kangaroo and koala bear are going to do east versus west, but we're gonna make it. And I went in order, just like I went in order in here, or how Kentucky is going to equate to these pictures from a palace in Potsdam, <laughs> but they're going to. Uh, or how a bear is gonna make it to the coyote page, but it might. Or the back of a kangaroo is gonna to equate to islands and Egyptian relics. Or love, well, love can go anywhere. So, anyhow, this Traveler's Notebook Junk Journal is going to make my next project. That might be the end of my video. So now, this is Friday. My next video will be on Tuesday. And I only have 20 prompts in probably 10 days for November. So there might be two prompts a day or something like that. I don't know. I didn't make it too rough on myself so that I could fit it into November because I want to do December daily. And again, I don't do December daily in a Allie Edwards book. It's not in the Project Life layout of the sleeves. It's using those prompts and making it my own or using her story. And I don't know her stories ahead of time. Um, so I have to think off the cuff and whatever comes into my head first is what makes it to the book. So that's going to be in December. I'm just trying to think, do I want to do December daily every day? Nope. 
going to stick to Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm making it easy on myself because theoretically we might have a beach house. I doubt it. I sincerely doubt it. Um, because we don't want to do anything until this other one closes just to have one project ended before we start another project <laughs> because we're stretched then here project wise. Um, we've been running back and forth up to that house and doing things and I mean it yes it's five miles away but still ugh, the aggravation of all of it meeting people da 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 anyhow so come what should we call this now you know Rolling Stone my travel journal no stone uh, unturned no stone unturned is that does that make sense grammatically since when has that bothered me um rolling <gasps> rolling down the road roll oh i like that rolling down the road i better write that down or i'll forget hmm if only i had a piece of paper okay rolling down the road rolling down the road that's what's going to be the title. And I don't know if this is going to be the cover. The ultimate road trip. With Rolling Stone prompts. Because you can do that. Anybody can do this. If I can do it, anybody can. And you can use any kind of magazine. I could have used that magazine I talked about yesterday. The children's magazine. And if you're compulsive and have to have a journal going all the time. And you don't have ideas. And you don't have pictures to you know, talk about, or a trip to talk about, you make one up. Yeah, make it up. It works for our current president. <laughs> Sorry, no politics. I'm going to take that part out. Maybe not. Bye. Happy Halloween yesterday, today for me.